Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got part two of my strong close out of the West Coast playbook. Like I said, I've been doing the West Coast. This is probably the last video for West Coast. If you guys want to see other alternate playbooks, let me know in the comment section. Or if you want to continue with the West Coast, just hit the like button. I'll continue doing West Coast uh, because these videos are going over well. Uh, but ultimately, uh, this strong close formation is a really good run formation. I showed some home run pass plays out of this already. I'll try to put a link in the description for that so you guys can check that out. Uh, but uh, today I'm going to show some of the run plays. Now, the quick toss a couple years back was an overpowered play. It's not very good anymore, in my opinion. Unless you have pin and pull guru, uh, then it's a good play once again. Toss plays without pin and pull guru don't really work out too good. But if you have it, it's still a pretty good play. So I'm going to set my audibles. I'm going to go to my put quick toss there. The halfback uh, zone is not necessarily my uh, my second favorite play. My second favorite play would definitely be the halfback off tackle. And then the last play that I think is, is an overpowered play is the counter weak. So those are the three main plays. If I wanted to add a third one, I would say that's not really, it's not technically a run play, but it's the PA end around. I would take that as my third play. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. So those are the four plays I'm going to have today. So like I said, if you have pin and pull guru, this is still a pretty good play. If you don't, I mean, it can still have success, as you can see right here. Uh, I'm actually, it looks like I'm probably going to hit a home run on the first play if I get this guy off me. It still has success. I feel like they might have toned down some of the X factors, uh, some of the requirements for these plays to work. Uh, but earlier in the year, you could really tell that that these toss plays just didn't work unless you had pin and pull guru. That, that's kind of how it felt. But at the moment, I'm having some success. In game, I don't think you're going to have as much success uh, as I've had with some of these other plays. Uh, but it's still, like I said, still a good play. It's just, it's it's much better if you have pin and pull guru. That's basically the easiest way that I can say that. But to me, the easier place to run, the halfback off tackle is probably my favorite play on this, aside from the count of weak. Now, in a play like this, the way that they're stacking the box on the strong side, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to skip over that, and I would definitely go to the halfback counter. The halfback counter is something that, if you see a gap on the left side in any capacity, it's going to be better to go that way. The the, the, the half tackle, like I said, the half tackle is a lot like a stretch. And in a play like this, I could probably stretch it outside and get, get outside those blockers, but the counter weak is just going to be that much easier. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pick that. Like I said, this is an easy read for a counter plays i'm going to go to the replay to show that as you can see we're home running to the other side now because i have jadavion clowny chasing me that's two home runs on four carries like i said this is a very good formation still so i just want to go to the replay real quick to show um you know there's one real read you have to make to make this play successful it's really simple you just have to watch one player and that's typically this edge defender unless somebody comes in free somebody misses the block and blows the play up you're really just watching this one guy and he's going to do one of two things there really only seems to be two animations that ea has for this particular player and that's either read and react or attack now here he's in what looks like a read and react where he's basically just going to stop and wait to get blocked and when they do that all you have to do is take it outside you can see it's exactly what i do the second i see the ball hike i'm just staring at this guy and the second i see him stop right there i know exactly where the play is going to go and that's going to be outside and wide now if he crashes down you can't go outside if he's aggressive and he comes forward you can't go outside or else he's going to shed he's going to tackle you if he comes forward, you basically just have to wait for this blocker to kick him out and then go inside. I'll get a look like that, and then I'll show you that again. Like I said, it's a real simple read. It's, it's, only, it's the only read you need to make immediately. Right here, once again, he stops. I just take it outside. The second he gets enveloped by that blocker, I just take it outside. It's an easy run. I want to get the look where he comes forward, though. Go ahead and we'll do this one more time. Hopefully I get that aggressive look. There it is. You can see right there. That was the aggressive look. I just have to go inside, make a little bit of a juke, and it looks like we're hitting another home run. So like I said, I mean, this is a very explosive power power run formation. Like I said, a lot of people make this mistake when they run these counter plays where they think they have to go outside all the time. If I go outside right there, what do you think is going to happen? That's exactly what I'm telling you. I run counters all the time. This is going to be a tackle for a five-yard loss. If I try to bust this outside, that's why you have to watch this guy. The second he comes down, he's just setting himself up to get wiped out on what's essentially like a trap block. This pulling block takes him out. And then, like I said, you have a hole here. You're always going to have a hole here unless one of these defenders just gets unblocked and gets an instant shed. You've got some you know, Aaron Donald inside or something like that. That can blow this play up. But making this read correctly, you're going to see you always have a hole if you follow that one read. So like I was saying, the, the quick toss... 
good play, just not as consistent as it used to be. Um, the halfback off tackle, in my opinion, is a little bit more consistent because this play, it looks like a stretch play. It's essentially a stretch play uh, with a fullback blocking, a lead, a lead blocker, which you don't typically have. And then the counter weak, like I said, this, this is a scenario where I definitely would try to hit another counter weak, but I think I made my point there. So we're going to go We're gonna go the other way with the halfback off tackle. Like I said, essentially just run it like a stretch. Just basically take your blockers and get wide. Um, there's less opportunity for the guys to break through because there's no pulling blockers like the quick toss. They're, they're really they're screaming at me with that gap though they're really screaming at me to hit these counters and like i said these ca this counter play is just so good i probably should try to shake them a little bit earlier i would add another touchdown but if you see a gap like that like they're giving me that's definitely where you want to go uh halfback off tackle like i said this here anytime you see you see a tight formation like this like they really have outside leverage there's no real gaps except for maybe one right up the middle this is a perfect play to run this stretch play so like i said they all just get bunched up there and we're getting outside like i said this is this would be the equivalent of like a dive you're not expecting home runs here your home run big plays are definitely going to be the toss and the counter weak but the halfback off top was really consistent and then the last play would be the pa end around like i said not really a run play but this is something that where you can basically just hit this full this uh, running back here the animation's so slow now compared to what it used to be that's like the way that ea really tried to mess this play up like i said a lot of this a lot of these plays have really been patched um to being ineffective but this play here, if I want to just quick out to the running back, you used to be able to cancel the play axis, but you can't now. So it's like, it's just such a slow animation, which makes this play a lot less consistent than it once was. Uh, but I still, I still like the play. It's still something that, you know, if I just want a quick and easy, like I said, if you're getting blitzed heavy, you can't run this. But if you want a quick and easy uh, catch and run to the running back, it's a good play to mix in based off the fact that you're running so heavy out of this formation already anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see more alternate playbooks, let me know in the comment section uh, or keep hitting the like button and I'll keep doing them. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.